doing? People like Mark Sims, who rallied just blocks away from the White House, said they were fed up with Wall Street financed lobbyists and were willing to get soaked in the rain to send home the message. Lobbyists can move forward and lobby for stricter regulations for more transparency so that those hardworking men and women's money is not compromised and is, is treated ethically and responsibly. We know the financial industry is spending $1.4 million a day right here on K Street. Hundreds of people came here on Monday to call out lobbyists who cozy up with Wall Street's big six banks, Bank of America, Citigroup, Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan Chase, Morgan Stanley, and Wells Fargo Wachovia. The banks caused an incredible crisis, and now they're using K Street lobbyists to protect themselves, and we have to pick up the bill. Thank you. U.S. President Barack Obama, who has been accused by his critics of big bank bailouts and receiving millions of dollars from lobbyists for his presidential run, is now lashing out at Wall Street. He's calling for swift Senate action on a sweeping overhaul of Wall Street rules. The reform bill is being debated over in Congress. That's why Wall Street reform is so important. With reform, we'll make our financial system more transparent by bringing the kinds of complex backroom deals that help trigger this crisis into the light of day. We'll prevent banks from taking on so much risk that could collapse and threaten our entire economy. But Obama isn't alone. It's been raining heavily all day, but that hasn't slowed down these demonstrators. Working families are trying to bring their own special brand of lobbying to the nation's capital. They say big banks are spending more than a million dollars a day trying to fight legislation that would reform the financial industry and help prevent another economic meltdown. These protesters dressed up to give big bank executives a sarcastic dressing down. They we're out here to say no to fi corporate financial reform and yes to more bonuses, more mansions, and more, uh, you know, more vacations for, for the, the top 10 percent of this country. <laughs> I'm mad as hell. People are hoping that the anger and frustration shown here is felt by lawmakers on Capitol Hill. The U.S. House of Representatives approved a Wall Street reform bill in December. A Senate version will have to be merged with the House bill before it can be signed into law, possibly by mid-year. For Press TV, Colin Campbell, Washington.